see it. Last week, we on the John Mayaki show, um, we had a guest, Honorable Washington Osifo, who we hosted here and told us that Dr. Billy Osawaru um, is not a member of the APC. He, he told us that he is going to go to court or that he was already in court to challenge his membership of the APC. Don't forget, Billy Osawaru <coughs> won the House of Rep ticket for Orionwa Uundo Federal Constituency in Edo South Senatorial District of Edo State. And so today, somebody, a chieftain of the APC in Edo South, is more concerned that no, um, this is our project, this man won the ticket, this man has suffered for the party, and so um, he won't sit down and allow any other person to run him down. Um, today, we are hosting a chieftain of the APC in Edo South, Mr. Etinosa Igebo, in the studio today. Etinosa Igebo, you are welcome to the studio. Uh, thank you very much, John Mayaki. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for your concern about this issue about the uh, membership of um, Dr. Osawaru uh, Billy, that is not a member of the APC. And you are, work, and you are concerned when you had the interview. You called me to say, uh, Is this true that he, there, there was an interview like this and you were quite worried? And you said, No, that Billy is a member of the APC. How long have you known him? Well, I've known Billy for a very long time. Um, I think his, uh, his political activities and his love for the politics as a vehicle or a game to help better the uh, lives of his people dated many years back. Mm. So um, I'm sure you know he was a member of the ACN. And at the same time, he was the Secretary General um, of the ACN diaspora group worldwide. Um, which obviously a party that eventually metamorphosized into APC and is still retained the position of the Secretary General of the APC Diaspora Affairs worldwide. <clears throat> you know, before we got here, for a man that has been in the party for that long, dating back to the times of coming at Damso Shomole, or even be before that, it is, it is very unfair to assume that such man is not a member of the party. Oh, is it that, <clears throat> did you listen to the interview of um, Washington Osifo where, um, let us listen to Washington Osifo where he said he was not in the country during the party registration and that they can prove it forensically, uh, even in the law court, to say because he is not a member of the party, he cannot be handed over the ticket of the party. Well, I think that is rather unfortunate and these are some of um, information, or so rather claims that should come from somebody who's not very learned. You know, there is a learned man. If you have a claim that is learned and is and is saying things that kind of matches or looks like that of those who's not learned, then we have cause of you know, we have reasons to worry. Um, those claims that he has made is not correct. For example, I am from Uboko Ward Five. I don't even know the members in my unit who are members of the party or not. You know what I'm Your saying? unit? Yes. For example, members of my unit, let alone people in another world. For example, I'm in Ward 5. I cannot let pop nose or nose dive into the activities that is happening in Ward 6 or Ward 8 or Ward 9, let alone to make an assumption or claim that XYZ members of the party in that particular ward is not a member of the party. We as party members does not exercise or exhibit the powers to decide who is a member of the party. Because don't forget, Dr. Billy Osawaru from Uwonde has his validation membership card. This same card is something that you work with and is transmitted to the national level. The national office, where the particular office that screened Dr. Billy Osawaru in his quest to become a member of House of Reps, they had no problems with his membership. Okay. Neither did the, 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 the members of the party in Edo State or his ward or local government had a problem with his membership. It is, it is just like somebody telling me that I'm not a member of the party. <laughs> how do you, how it's do like, you even it's come like, up with such It's like getting Jonathan to come and contest in APC. We were hearing Jonathan was going to contest in APC. Jonathan, I mean, he, he finished as a PDP president, and even a day to the final closure 
of the contest. Donata was started to be in the race. So is it possible to even not be a member of the party and um, in a week time you, you simply contest and um, in fact I, I didn't know uh, provision for waivers. Most definitely that is what I wanted to talk about now, the issue of waiver. For instance, let us assume somebody is not a member of the party. There is provision because this is pure poly, uh, party politics. You know, it is an embarrassment to us as member of APC, for example, a member, uh, a, 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 a member of the party from Oriomo who, who doubles with one there as a federal constituency, uh, for somebody to come and tell him that my member of House of Rep who has worked so hard to win his ticket to represent the people. Now the ticket is not about Billy anymore. It's about us, everybody that is from the Orium or local government and wonder to assume and say that he's not a member of the party. On what grounds, though, that you contested with him in the primary that he, he won with huge margin, landslide? I want to find out. worked so hard as a way of a rethink or hindsight to assume that, okay, well, wait. I've lost this election to this gentleman. He has worked very well, very hard. He got 73 votes. Washington Osifo, with all due respect, got 19 votes. The third runners-up was Mrs., um, the former speaker, Ms. Elizabeth TV. She got 16 votes. For you to come out and not say a man who has won a free and fair primaries, which he has not disputed at all, that is not a member of a party, is an insult, not just to... The political system is an insult to the members of the party, like I am. For the, for the fact that I'm from the Orion and Wanda Federal constituency, I think it's, it's, it's an embarrassment to, to, to us as party members. And, and that's for me, I just think it was below belt. Because you've, you've contested, you've lost. Matter of fact, Billy Osawaru is more of a party member and has committed himself and works hard for the party more than in most cases than the so-called has he ever contested uh, has billy ever contested in apc before yes during the acn time billy ran for an office for the houses of assemblies and obviously at the time comrade adam sushomale was the governor of the state so um because comrade had to work with certain members from pdp for example like in a tv and maybe honorable something Saige, who came to join from the pdp he needed to keep his promise of giving them a fair cho choice of first refusal. When, um, with all due respect to the lady, Miss Elizabeth Ativier was in PDP, she worked against the ACN. At this time, Billy was already the Secretary General of the ACN in the diaspora. So once he was in the party committed, he was asked to step down. Billy himself? Yes, he was asked to step down for Ativier because Commander Adamson Shomale wanted to make sure that he kept his promise for those who come to join him in ACN in order to do well as a party in the general election. That is how she came up in the first instance and became the member of the House of Assembly. Billy Dean only stepped down. He contributed money to that cause and he followed her and campaigned all across the wards. You know, one day, that was the first time he was stepped down. As a party man, he was committed. Second time when she was returning, the same thing happened. Yet again, Billy was stepped down. Second time. For the second time. House of Assembly. Yes, he didn't really bother, though he knew he had what it takes to have won, because you know, it's not always about the face you see in the forefront. It's about the people in the back room, the engine room. No, I understand you Billy is not on ground. He came in from US. No, 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 no. Don't, don't let people mislead you. Billy is, much on, is more on ground than the so-called people that got the ticket to run for the House of Assemblies. Because if not for the fact that Comrade intervened in, in, in the primaries, Billy will win. Which is what has trans transpired now in the House of Rep uh, issue. On the second ret on the return of Ms. Ativia, she won and went there, which obviously she benefited and became a speaker and deputy speaker and whatnot. Obviously, for somebody to have risen to that level, maybe number four, number three citizen in the state, that is a huge achievement. That is a, a party you have benefited from. Because most of us, like Billy, has committed so much to this cause. He, had, he was stepped down twice. Then when Commander Damso Shomole left and the governor, Obaseki, came on board, at the time, because the governor had interest, and Comrade also had interest, and some other party chieftain, Billy Osawaru was forced out of the party, which event, evidently, the PDP asked him to come and he, he, he went there trying to contest on that platform. 
his name was already submitted, having won to, the, to INEC as a candidate, only for certain political power play and some leaders who had interest, which is a power Dixon in Masogi, who felt the need to say, well, they had a particular candidate they would have preferred to Billy for the third time being stepped down, they had to use late Chief Tony Aneni to swap Billy's name, and it created a problem. You know, at that point, Billy went to court. But then when the party called Billy to say, look, there's no need for you to go to court. As a party man, you have to find a way to resolve this issue. Billy just said, okay, you know what? Since the party has prevailed on him a big deal, a great deal, let them just settle the issues with the lawyers. Let them settle the bills of the lawyers. And they let go. For the third time, he was stepped down. And that time they stepped him down, before we now got to the state that we are now, was when um, uh, uh, the, the, the PDP time came on board and you know the whole thing came and yeah, they stepped him down, they changed his name. That was when he almost kind of went to court, but eventually he pulled out the case and they resolved the matter. On this last instance that my brother Washington was for went to the Houses of Assemblies, whilst he was contesting in Rwanda, I was contesting in Orion. Oh, you contested? Yes, in 2019. I was contesting a sitting House of uh, uh, Majority Leader who could not really match me because I was just too strong for him. Um, with all due respect to Washington Osifo, when I heard some of his claim, he was, he was, a, he was, a, 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 um, uh, uh, he was not a prisoner of conscience. He benefited from the system. He didn't really have to fight. Most of them was given the ticket at the platter of gold. Billy, Washington Osifo knows quite well that it was my boy, KC, that won that primaries. That 2019, KC. He won the primaries, but because Comrade and you know he was national chairman, they felt the need to perhaps maybe assist one of their own because you know he was former commissioner of education. Um, um, Casey was pushed to the side at the last minute. That is how Washington came on board. I fought. I worked ever so hard. I won my ticket, but at the end of the day, the party also felt the need to swindle me. And they could be a little bit down the or they uh, just. Uh, no, well, you see, when the party chooses to see the winner, when the lines, my line is obviously longer than that of the majority leader. And uh, they feel the need to say I should relax and not worry. Obviously, I went to court and did all that. They were supporting him against me. Recently, your brother also contested, isn't it? Your own brother, isn't yes, it? Yes, my younger brother Terry Gibbo contested. For House of Assembly. For House of Assembly, Noriyama South, this instance. And. Um, he was, the, he was the candidate to beat. You know, we've moved around the six wards. We've done the needful. Other candidates were also good, but obviously not as strong as us or my brother. During the delegate votes, my brother, we, we looked at the political system that the 29 delegates we intended to use, one of them was not stable. So which means that if we were to take the risk of going into election, because ma majority of the aspirants have been asked to step down from our brother Austin Osawaru, from Orion Osad. Austin Osawaru had about eight delegates, but when the others stepped down for him, he was able to move his numbers to 14. So we had 16. One of the um, delegates was not sure, one was wavy, so Terry was set to win. But by the time we realized that the games that some of the leaders were playing was getting a bit difficult, we felt like, okay, well, to balance the books, we might as well call one of the aspirants that has stepped down already, who had an accord and a deal with my brother was Tim Sawaru to come and fly the flag of the party. So what we did was to take 14 of our delegates to give to our brother Etienne Sawbewi, who had one short delegate, and that gave them victory to win 15 over 14 mm -hmm. when we did the primaries at the Secretariat in Edo. Mm -hmm. So my brother Terry was was able, a young man was able to let go of 14 and he has to move on and he has moved on with life to give to somebody we want to win and it's the flag bearer today even if they're trying to go to court against it which you know that it's not going to go anywhere because the winning was so clean and clear it was in the open broad daylight everybody knew he won and he was able to, he's been he's moved on it's not even in court could it be that you know it's could not it even be worried that worried about what has the happened. winner um, um dr billy Osawa hasn't called washington and um, the other person who contested, um, um, Elizabeth Ativie, to say, come, let us work together. Is it a, a situation of winner takes it all? No, no, it's not a situation. Like, for instance, when my brother's case happened and Terry supported and make sure, we worked to make sure that Tessa Ogbewi was the candidate, which will continue to work and support him to win the general election, Terry had to let go. And Austin Osawaru spoke after that time. We even met and we had a conversation man to man. 
I said, this is just a game. You know, he said, why did you support me? I said, well, my brother was contesting. Some of the things that was happening, because my brother was disqualified, purportedly disqualified, the most qualified candidate was purportedly disqualified, which prompted me to have gone to Abuja, and I got intel from all the committee of what was happening about how my brother was being witch-hunted. So I called my brother and I told him that certain leaders are witch-hunting you, trying to disqualify you. That is why I keep giving uh, love and respect all the time to Senator Domingo Obainde, who find the need to let democracy exist. And by the time we went into working to make sure that delegates, uh, aspirants who had paid two point something million naira to buy their forms, was not disqualified by the same APC in Edo, because they had their preferred candidates, they winch on them, they want to take away their credentials, and, and, and trying to undermine the purpose of free participation in the political process. I was able to reach out and we worked together, and at the end we realized it was 63 members of the House of Assembly that contested. 20 were disqualified. That involved Victoria Amu. By this APC, though, I think that was being done by the chairman and the secretary. They were misleading their own party members, and I don't know how you want them to be happy. But it's, by the time that got to that level, the distinguished senator felt like that was not fair. We are all APC members, and they had to wade in, and we worked together to make sure that the, the, the people that were disqualified, 16 was cleared. And out of the 16 that was cleared, four of these people, credential was completely taken out. That shows complete disrespect for party members who shows interest to represent their people. None of these people is contesting in the local government or This was done in Abuja or in Edo State? It was done in Edo, and some other leaders still went as far as going to Abuja and trying to disqualify these people and cement the disqualification. But um, some of my affiliates were in the panel, and I told them that they will only paste the disqualification note at the end of the appeal process. The party secretary, who does not even allow the organizing secretary to do his job, Honorable Saboy, he never lets him do his job. He doesn't know anything, but he's always the one creating problems. And at the end, the people that are disqualified haven't been cleared. They pasted the list of those they, they wanted to win short, which involves some of these other aspirants, from, some from Orion East, some from Wonde, some from a Donut, Victor Amu. They pasted those, that list on the expiration of the appeal process in Abuja. Not knowing or knowing to them that we've already worked out the plan that those people have been cleared. That prompted me to fly to Abuja to get the list of the cleared candidates and say, well, you are disqualifying them in a very, dis you know, despicable way. And evidently they were cleared and the party secretary kept quiet a bit. That is why Terry will participate in the primary. A young man that has put in so much millions into a party wants to exercise his franchise, the most you can do is to go the extra mile of trying to disqualify him in the wrong way. When, as a matter of fact, you that is disqualifying him doesn't even really have what it takes to win election. <laughs> so, so to me, that was just on that aspect. So, how, come, how come the same Dr. Billy Osawaru again, um, I understand, uh, the third person, the person who came third position in that election was also trying to change Billy's name and um, in Abuja, uh, is it true? Yes. Um, fortunately for them, I was I was I was working in the back office with my brother Billy Sawaru because me and him will come a long way. It's a brother. It's very easy going. It's very understanding. He's a chief in the palace. He's a very down to earth person. You know, I know that politics. You have to accommodate everything. We are all families at the end of the day. Mrs. Ativie, Washington Osifo, even the party secretariat. We are all one family. Contestation of interest and ideas can create a lot of bubble. Very well. You know, but by the time the storm has come and gone, yeah. there should be calm. When is the calm go going to come? It, would, it will come now. The, 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 this particular only one won the federal constituency election that Dr. Billy won in broad daylight in Abudu. I was there. I voted for my ward. I'm the first person to vote in the book award. You know, and we know what is involved, that Billy worked day and night. He moved. Most of the time, when we have time to see a little bit, Billy falls asleep whilst I'm talking to him. Because the guy is extremely tired. He's worked his socks off to make sure that he wins. Why is brothers like Washington or Sifo was sitting in Abuja? He never bothered to move, the, move around. It, you know, in politics, you have to deploy every strategy. So my my quote, you know, question, how possible is it for you to change the list of the person who won? I will get there, Mr. Maraki. I will get there. When you work hard, you win. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, Washington Osifo, my brother knows he was in Abuja. 
He didn't bother to reach out to the people to the extent. He believed the leaders would do it for him. He wanted the leaders to just adopt him. There were times he campaigned. Well, some of my allies are there politically. He says, well, this matter is a done deal. You don't need to worry. When the leaders come, they'll just pronounce. It's not about moving around and campaigning. To me, if you're a politician and he really wants to work, you shouldn't rely and rely your hopes on the leader or leaders when Billy was hitting the ground running. So for, for Mrs. TV to want to swindle Billy's name, it comes back to the, to the imbalance in the political system where people believe they can play God. You came to all the God 16 vote. The next thing we are hearing is that Dr. Billy's name, Chief Dr. Billy's name is being changed in Abuja. And that XYZ Mrs. Ativi was giving the, 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 the annex form to fail, which prompted Billy to come and work on it. And you know, to the to, to the by the grace to the grace of God, I would say Dr. Billy met up met up with Comrade and some other leaders. Comrade also got involved and Who's said comrade? Well, Who's and Mule, yeah. got involved and said, it is not fair for you to have won because I've asked questions for anybody to not swap your name because you induce people with money maybe um, to become the, the flag bearer. If the people have spoken through their vote and Billy got 73, don't you think that will make election easier? For you to come from behind and they want to become number one is mischievous. Whether you are uh, elderly or you are young or you are a middle-aged person, when you speak truth to power, whenever you speak and you let the truth come out, you should always go back and set your conscience. What you are trying to do, if you were number one, would it be fair for somebody who is number three to walk his way around? And by the time um, Billy went to come in and come in, you know, got involved as a leader from Edo, because by every right, he's a leader from Edo State. He can, he can interfere and say, well, injustice is not appropriate. Just like how Senator Domingo got involved to help sort out some of this, uh, all those people that was, that was disqualified. Wickedly, in a very barbaric manner. And then, um, apparently, the lady in question, Mr. TV, went to Comrade's house, waited from Comrade for about four hours. The minute Comrade came, she went on her knees, trying to appeal to Comrade to help her. That's what Comrade said. To help her to do what? To make sure that the Ativi. number one manipulation works out for her. TV met Comrade yes. to help. Yes, and Comrade says, well, he cannot stop. I thought elections should be won at the polling unit. Yeah, it, Comrade said he cannot do that because he has made his findings and Dr. Billo Sauer got 73 votes. You got 16 and your, the, the runners have got 19. How would I, how can I look at my conscience and not want to even misappropriate so, such things to change the narrative, to say where well, you are number one, go to number three, it, without considering every time that Billy has stepped up for her, twice. The question, the you question. know, at the end of the day, um, uh, my brother John Mayaki, coming now said he cannot help her. At that point, she, she busted into uh, telecom. I've suffered for this party. I've been the coming told her, No, you have benefited from the party too. You was once a speaker. If Billy did not step down for you, how would you become a speaker of the house? Okay. Even before you step down and, and allow the corner board then for political balance yeah. to come on board, we knew what transpired. We knew that gift and presents and bags were passed through for you to step down. So you see, certain people has never worked hard to achieve anything. They've always gotten it at the platter of gold. When I contested in 2019, and when Washington says he's a member of the party, forgetting that whatever he's doing to Billy, he's doing it to the whole of Orion and Wonder APC members. Because Billy is not a project. If he, Washington was the winner, I would come here and say the same thing. The, telling Billy to step aside and not do that. But now that Billy has won, I, just like Eva, will always stand for what is what right. What can you do now to get uh, Washington and uh, Ativia to come together on the table? Well, uh, for I, them I, to, well, because the general election is coming. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Um, I may not have spoken to Madam Ativia because you know she's a much older woman, irrespective that of the fact that we are politicians and in the same party. We must also mind how we deal with our elders. Yeah. She's, a, she's a mother. I mm -hmm. know, you know, she's probably old enough to be my mom. Mm -hmm. I will not, I've never said anything bad about her. I don't disrespect people. Neither would I disrespect uh, my brother, um, um, Washington Osifo. I, on my own, have called Washington. I've spoken to him when I saw a post on a court case against Billy Osawaru. The same Washington, my brother, doctor, uh, a PhD holder, is, 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 a, is a PhD holder, right? He has had this, a sit down with Billy to say, look, Billy, we are going into a contest uh, for House of Preps position. If I win, you will support me. 
But Billy, if you also win, I will support you. That is a man's word. Men has capacity to do such things. So as brothers, I and Billy, I and Washington would hang out like once or twice before. And I called him, I said, bro, I just saw your court case against Billy. And I commented on it on the AP system. I said, this is BS. He called me right away. And we had a conversation. I said, bro, what are you doing in court? Because I was there. There was no fighting. ITV was there. AIT was there. So many people from Wounded and Orion were there. All the delegates voted. Nobody was disenfranchised from voting. Why? Why court case now? Oh, he said that Billy is not a member of the party. He was not registered. I said, what are you talking about? I said, you're only talking about the fact that he's not a member of the party. I thought he defeated you at the, at, at the primaries. I said, if you add your vote, 19 to the, the third runners of vote, 19 and 16, I don't think you even have the vote he got. This is hard work. I said, bro, I think we are men. We are young people. Why don't you allow me to broker a meeting between you and Dr. Billy. He said, Billy, I never called him. When, when we finished, I called Billy. I said, Billy, how come you've not reached out to my brother? Billy said he has called him severally, but he has never picked his phone. He refused to answer his phone. I said, he said severally, from the time of the election, he has been reaching out. He has done his best to reach out. I said, but you have to continue to reach out. If you come to town, let us go and meet him. Uh, yeah. We go to his house. Yeah. Irrespective of his his feelings. I mean, sometimes people feel disappointed yeah. because when he called me, I, I understood that he had a problem with the leaders. That the leaders let him down. You know, he has suffered for the party as a member of APC. But he got the ticket. He was recognized as a member of the G14. I was the G15. When we all contested, ask Victor Edoro, ask Gani Aodo, ask Gwan, ask the then speaker, the man from Makoko Edo, your brother, Ajoto, right? Ask, 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 the deputy speaker now, ask Marcos, ask everybody. My fight with the majority leader was the strongest. I, I fought to Stupo. I went to court to Supreme Court. Even if at the end some technicalities didn't quite work out, because they brought out a, receipt, a result from the party claiming that um, Ronald Asuro contested against Newman Ugiagbe. Mm. Newman was given an appointment September 16, 20th. The governor called him while we were doing. Clearance. I said, what are you doing there? Leave. Go to Nobasaki. Told him to leave. Because I've settled you. They went to for the result to go to court against me. Once I got an exact result, saying my name and Roland contested. At the end, because they didn't validate my result, I didn't win that I didn't win that contestation. I am still in the party. I've also headed a youth campaign for, for, for the uh, last flag bearer of APC. Even if I'm not even called the G15 to this day, even if I'm not even recognized as one of those who fought the biggest fight. I'm still in the party. I'm still calm. If if um, uh, my brother Washington Osifo says that he's not happy with Dr. Billy, and Billy has constantly called him, and I even told him, Billy said he, he has no, called he, him. He, he said, I called him back. Why are you not taking his call? And then he's, he's looking at the court case. Oh, he was going to get him out, and uh, no matter what, he's not a member of the party. Tom Print. What are you talking about? He has a sleep. Are you in his ward? Are you from his his, his his zone? Are you from his village? How do you now know? That is not a member of the party only because he defeated you in the primaries that was open for everybody to see you know so i tried to talk him out of it he wasn't listening i just kept my cool all i told billy is keep reaching out we need him in the general election nobody can be undermining politics everybody has their network of people i can understand that our brother um uh, dr washington washington osifo is not happy but we continue to appeal to him yeah. until he finds a place in his heart yeah. to understand that this is not about being a party member mm -hmm. it is an embarrassment for you to say somebody is not a party member are you more of a party member than the person you are talking about mm -hmm. how are you a party member as much as i'm seen as a, a prodigal son in apc i've been the one who has paid the most price have been the one. My brother does so off again. Not because they feel that I speak true to power. Whenever they are doing what is wrong, like I'm saying about the secretary and the chairman of the party, all the things they were doing in their watch, all this rubbish is happening in the Dosa. People are disenfranchised and unhappy. Even a, a, a member of the ESCO, for example, like the organizing secretary, does not even play his role. You are sitting there, you are watching. You are not doing anything. And you expect that you are leading a party. To me, those sort of things, it amounts to some kind of displeasure between party members because then they know they cannot win their unit or win their award. They're only interested in the crumbs, whatever they get what, in the what, party. What do you think you can do to help Billy Osawaru win 
the election, being that it's going to contest against the PDP and other parties? What, what can you Well, do? as much as you know, we are not undermining the PDP. Yeah. We know that they have their own big problem that has torn the party apart. But you see, let me tell you, when people have always got things at the platter of gold without working for it, which is in the, in, the, in the instance of what I've seen in the two contestants that contested against Billy, they believe they can play God. I'm telling you, they are not battle-hardened people as such. But I know Washington is, is, is strong to an extent, but it's not to the point where you can destroy the election. We are party people. The party, if in, if, even if you're not happy with Billy, have you even reached out to use the party mechanisms to resolve the issues before you went to court? The party has a mechanism that you can use to say, well, you were shortchanged, or your candidate, or your delegate did not vote, or you felt like X, Y, Z, that X, Y, Z, that's up. I saw Washington on the day of the primaries. He was very happy. He was confident. He would win. We said hello also. Uh, that was the first time that Mrs. TV greeted me in a long time. Uh, obviously, I also said hello to her. She's a, she's a mother. She's a, a female. We, the guys, can always have a way to meet and discuss issues of value on how we move forward. Because I told, I told Dr. Washington, I said, look, even if you are not in the House of Reps now, though they offered you the House of Assembly ticket, which you have likely refused, which Adoro eventually accepted in his, in, his, in, his, in his local government. Adoro wanted to run for House of Reps, but he eventually accepted the House of, House of Assembly. The House of Assembly that he rejected, now he's not acting like, oh, use the, I use the word bad loser. My brother contested and he was the leading candidate. He gave 14 of his delegate votes, sacrificed it for another person. Lost millions of naira in the process. He never went to court. Do you understand? So if you have not explored the party mechanism to resolve the issue with Dr. Billy, and you and Billy had a gentleman's agreement that whoever win you support X, Y, Z. Why are you now coming now to now fight a project? A project that I am involved in. A project that pretty much everybody in Orion one one day is involved in. Whether you are happy or you are not happy. I want him to say that the processes that led to the emergence of Dr. Billy Osawaru was flawed. No, that, that is not what is challenging because so, the challenge is membership of That the is party. what I talked about. Yeah. You know, if, 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 you, if you're man enough to make one, mm -hmm. you should be man enough to take care of one. You have gone into a battle and you've lost. But take it in good faith. Even those who have deserved or who has won elections. If my brother was given the House of Assembly ticket in Orion, I think today Orion will start to be bubbling. But we give it to another brother because we just played politics. Even if we were not happy, but we just had to be men and just let go. No. If I had contested against Billy the way he won, I would be ashamed to go to court. Because the man won. Let us discuss. You know, not to only say that I know um, the leader of one day, who is a brother, a very close brother, Zagi Imasogi, you know, part of the team, one of the key men that stood for Billy. I know how much and how much, how many times he has supported and assisted Dr. Washington Osifo. Financially, he has helped him a lot. In the last year and a half, he hasn't given him money, probably over, over about six to nine million. As a brother, whatever he's doing, I want to do publication and this and that. So even when Zagi, a leader from your local government, is involved, you are still bitter. So what if tomorrow is nominated as a minister? What if tomorrow is nominated as a member of the board, NDDC? That is even bigger than the House of Reps. So you didn't look at none of those things. You are just chasing goose. Just looking for ways to destroy the project. So uh, we should fold our hands and allow you to just keep winchanting Dr. Wash, um, Billy Osawaru. And then you expect that you, you think that you're fighting Billy when you, know, you don't even realize that you're fighting a whole local government, two big local governments. And to me, that amounts to some kind of bad loser. And I also talked about the issue of academic balance. If really, truly, we are right up and we are upright. You contested already. You never challenged his membership before the election. There's never a time you wrote a petition to argue that this man is not a member of the party. This is a guy that was Secretary General ACN. This is a guy that is Secretary General APC, diaspora worldwide. For you to come and say that X, Y, Z, bro, it's like you are batting more than you can chew. It's, it's disrespectful. And that is the fact. And it needs to be told. If nobody's telling him, I'll tell him. Not that I have a personal issue with him, yeah. but on this issue, yeah. I totally disagree with him. Number three wants to be number one. It took involving many of the leaders from Edo South and even Adam Sushomola who is in Edo North to now say, no, this is the way it should be. Not all cases are like that. Even if I know that the party secretary had messed up from the chairman to the secretary who never even allowed people to function in the ESCO. They think that the, poli the political party is their, is their best right. 
But very soon we will know who owns the political party. I think you have election ahead, so you need to do what you can do to make sure. Yes, we will. Uh, by, the grace of God, in the by the grace of God, we will continue to appeal yeah. to Dr. Um, Washington Osifo, yeah. Mrs. Ativi. I think Mrs. Ativi is a bit calm now. Okay. Politics, you can't, you can't win and believe that I will just win. No, that is what I believe in. And I keep telling him, we will continue to reach out to Dr. Washington Osifo until he understands that we are young people. Something else may come, you can take. Yeah. I'm not saying about me, but I believe that time and space plays out yeah. in everything that you do. Even the, the brother that got some of the brothers that got the ticket, they never expected that they would get the ticket. Mm -hmm. But today they got the ticket. What we can do is to give them the support. Yeah. Because it is when you support people so that God will also bless them. you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So to not come up and start saying things and fighting a project that involves two big local governments, no fully whether we have opposition. To me, it, it feels like all the game, all the effort that we made, all the resources that we spent. As Billy is working, he's spending. I'm working, I'm spending. Zaggy is spending. Everybody that believes in the cause that's sleepless nights just to convince these people to find reasons to I, vote I, for I this man. Don't you think uh, politics has become so expensive? You spend here, spend here, spend Most here. definitely. That expensive. And people get into office, they don't do anything. They just you pocket. See, they just, you see, you right? don't expect anything. When, you, when people collect from you, are you getting into office? What are they expecting? By the grace of God, we are trying to change the narrative. If Dr. Billy eventually wins, it is not going to be business as usual. He's not going to be the type that will want to win Trump people because you didn't join me or this. I know many people who call me from one day. And I'll tell them, don't worry. Just relax. The ways to empower these guys is through investment platforms. The reason why you think it's expensive is because these people have been laboring for this party for so long. And for some reason, certain leaders have been changing them. They've been dribbling them. So now, whenever you aspire for anything, they want to get their own now. And it is these followers and membership members that have suffered the most in this party. For what I saw in these last primaries, when I saw the way leaders were swindling, especially in the dosa, I look at them. They don't understand that I'm watching them. It's embarrassing. But politics, you must spend money. Mm -hmm. So if you spend money, if you want to play the game, you must be ready. When they told uh, my brother that we're not in, in government, my brother Terry, he gave up, you have to be ready because there's no government to support financially. We think you should have some reasonable amount of money. You have to show your bank balance. So that they will not support who will not win. Even if the party is doing wrong, they still want to win. When they did that to many of the aspirants, including House of Reps, Dr. Washington Osifo could not meet up. He you talked about you couldn't meet up with even reaching out to say, well, I have something good enough to push me through this course. When they said show the proof, he couldn't pro provide any proof. But other aspirants provided proof. I know of my brother from Esa South is still one the ticket. They provided proof. The fact that he didn't provide proof, it's not part of the thing that worked against him. No, it's not part of the things that worked against him. But this is what we convince people. Because we are not playing expensive politics, isn't it? Nobody wants to be in a losing team. <laughs> so when they talk about it, they even joke about things and say certain comments they say during a campaign. They laugh about it. But let me tell you, the money you spend in politics, 60% is for nuisance value. <laughs> The amount of money that wins it for you is very minute. Mm. But for me, all these things that I'm saying, in terms of reaching out to our brother Washington and for I on my own, I'm telling him, and he knows, that I've called and pleaded with him, said, please, let me organize a meeting between you and Billy. I believe on our level, we can just settle it, so that we can go to the election with one heart, and we can put in on our efforts, so that it will be easier to win. I will not encourage anybody or want to say that, no, Dr. Washington doesn't matter. Oh, this no, if you do that, you lose. Yeah. We don't want that. Yeah. So they should not capitalize on that, using wrong to correct. Uh, yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? You have, you have lost the primaries. You have contested free and fairly. Somebody has emerged. You could have been the one. It is not good for us to fold our hands and let you constantly beat on a dead horse. Yeah. And want to destroy the effort that the brother and every other people involved with him has put into say that party membership, even when we know waivers can work. Mm -hmm. The party in the state has come out to say that he's a member of the party. The party in the local government to come out and say he's a member of the party. Even the national recognized it because the national screened Dr. Billos yeah. our, and screened Dr. Washington Osifo. So which kind of law from which planet is he going to court to say that the judge should do X, Y, Z on a part, purely party affair? Activity, that is what I'm saying, that when you are learning, you should be able to deploy that intelligence real time on issues to bordering on your grievances. Emotional intelligence must be high. When emo emotional intelligence is not high, we tend to 
let our attitude affect other people's mm -hmm. behavior towards mm -hmm. us. You know, I heard him saying on this platform when I was listening that uh, he was supposed to be the governorship candidate that led Captain Osa, a man that did so much for our people. May, God, may he continue to rest in peace, that he, he, he likened him to become the governor of Edo, if not for the fact that he rejected and Pastor Sagi Zayamo was favored. He forgot that there were other aspirants who was not happy, that believed that they were overdue or deserved to be in the, in, uh, as a flag bearer of the party. Even when Pastor Sagi Zayamo got the ticket, I know that many of the other leaders were not happy based on certain behavioral pattern, mm -hmm. which is beyond our control. Mm -hmm. By the time there were questions about maybe this candidate may not fly, it may have glitches. There was an EF EFCC case, although I know, to be fair, that was a very frivolous one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But in terms of, I knew that case was not going to stop anything because of the way it was and it happened. If you follow the nitty gritty, mm -hmm. you know that that wouldn't work. But there were some concerns and they needed to get somebody else to buy a form. Should the kill this fail, that works. The same Captain Osa was alive. He never called him to buy the ticket. Even if he knew that any of the other three that perhaps didn't get it, Dr. Paris Odubu, Chris Ogimoyi, and General Charles, you know, I know that they, if they were flying the ticket, they can also win. They didn't get the ticket. Nobody came back, even from the Captain Osa, late Captain Osa, to say that, well, I once penciled down Washington Osifo to be the flag bearer. Maybe you shouldn't get a ticket for Saro Baze which now created more division in the party. Because apparently they felt that pastor was in the know whilst Obazi went to get form because they contributed money for him to buy form. Where was Washington in all of this? The man that was penciled down, who was the, the man that allowed the, the candidate of the party to get the ticket as governor, as a governorship candidate for APC. Some of these things, when people are pouring it out to you to listen, if you just sit back and really phantom these things, you just know that these are just blatant lies. <laughs> he mentioned weaknesses. He said uh, Chris uh, Okaiben was there, Gani Audu. I mean, he mentioned weaknesses. In uh, politics, they yeah. said that you can promise 10 people mm -hmm. the position of a chief of staff. A man will tell you, when I win, I'll make you chief of staff. You, I'll make you a chief press secretary. They can promise John Mayaki. They can promise other media houses as whatever. But I'm talking about practical facts, not hearsay. Whether um, Okabe was there or not there, he didn't come here to say, well, it was true. Mm -hmm. If Okabe, Chris Okabe, my brother, says it was true, I'll say, well, Chris, when they were to buy an extra form, <laughs> should the case pastor did not fly? Why chose Osaro Baze? Why not choose is the Washington true? or Sifo? Because the, 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 the man in question was alive. Is it true pastor was the beneficiary of that election? Or, according to pastor, pastor is saying he was a victim. Uh, um, Washington is saying it was the beneficiary. Well, I think what, what do you think about there's that? There's two sides to a coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think on one side, when it looks at when you look at the issue of who the center was fighting mm -hmm. and how it played out to undermine the governorship race, Pastor is right to say he was a victim. On the election general general election, they said they have no problem with Pastor, but they have problem with Comrade Adam Sushomala at the time. People at the center. So when they were fighting and joining His Excellency Governor Basaki to, to win the election, they were not targeting Pastor, but they were targeting Comrade. And if they get oh, Comrade was not contesting. Comrade was not contesting. I know, but yeah. the, that, that is the logic. You know, we are learned people. Mm -hmm. They didn't want Comrade's candidate to win. You know, Washington is saying it was a referendum of a dose of people against Pastor. No, wait. That is what I'm saying. I said there's two sides to the coin. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you now is it's one side to the coin, mm -hmm. which means... If Pastor says he was a victim, mm. it is because Comrade was the man. Okay, well, in Edosa, they said, Comrade, you told us that this man was XYZ. Now you want to come back and tell us it's XYZ. That is another uh, you know, a way of saying that because of certain comments before, it's, it was purely politics. People didn't understand. He was a victim. But if you look at it the other way as a beneficiary, well, I think I need to really think deep to look at how it was a beneficiary. I think he played politics. Before Pastor decamped i knew something was playing because the man is smart he's very clever so he played this game right so if that was the beneficiary that made what benefit he lost an election what benefit no, well he benefited being the candidate of the party if that is what he's saying maybe on that ground i'll say well the benefit was that pastor played politics he's smart <laughs> <laughs> and he came in the midst of other people being uh, candidates who has been with Adam Shumole all to the battles and Pastor De Kami from PDP, he got the ticket. To me, that was pure benefit. Political intrigues. Mm -hmm. 
you know, even when I spoke with some people, like, I think this is what I'm feeling, they debunked it and eventually became reality. So when it was reality, that is why when I was working for in that election as a youth campaign director, I deployed every arsenal that I have. That involved lots of resources, lots of movement. To work for pastor. Committed. Believe me, he, even pastor himself felt it in his bone marrow, how we worked and what I did. Even my brother Terry was there, worked hard, spent money. Many other people worked. Not to say we are arrogating that work to ourselves, but we are saying that when it comes to election, people don't bring out money to support you. We, we, we break the bank. We did what we had to do. <laughs> we didn't win. We just take it as a man on our chain and we keep, keep it pushing. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, Tinosa Igebo, APC Chieftain at those South Senatorial District. We sincerely appreciate your time for coming. And for those of you watching us, we just wanted to clear the air on the allegation uh, made by one of our guests last week, Dr. Washington Osifo, that um, Dr. Billy Osawaru is not a member of the APC and that he will go to court to prove that and, uh, and all of those. We want to appreciate all of you and want to sincerely thank you once more for clearing these issues around Pastor Zeyamu, around Oshumole, around all those issues. Uh, I think one last thing I want to, I'd like to say. Yes. I would like to appeal to yeah. my brother, Dr. Washington Osifo. Yeah. Um, I'm convinced beyond reasonable doubt that I needed to be here mm -hmm. and make you understand as a brother that if you were the one flying the ticket of APC, I would do exactly the same for you. Everybody has level of comfort with people. I've never had any issues with him before. Neither I've had issues with anybody that contested against Billy. They enjoyed every right to have contested with him. We all contest. So that is the more reason why, even if sometimes it's not working for us, we we'll find a way to strike a balance. I will still appeal to him as a brother to please be a bigger man, have a big heart, look at the bigger picture. If we are standing and saying that we need to drive our people and make sure that the, the state becomes a better place for everybody, where every man is seen to have value, mm -hmm. when every man is seen not to be short-changed or yeah. maybe as a second class or third class citizen, yeah. we need him and every other members to come on board and help work on this process. And let us preach the gospel like John the Baptist did before Jesus Christ came. So that the PDP that is not doing so well does not feel that they have a chance, even when some of their party members are going to other parties. You see, it is easy to destroy than to rebuild. This project now is no longer about Dr. Billy Osawaru, Chief Dr. Billy. It's about Orion and Owone combined together. And if, if my brother says, well, I'm not ready to listen, I want to continue, he, within his right, he has every right to no, do so. But no. we're not going to re relent in our in our effort to make sure that um, we we'll find a way around it, why we strategize for the election. Because Dr. Billy Osawaru has to win so that we can bring about good things. And um, with the experience that Washington Osifo has, whether positive or negative, the ones that Madam has, a former speaker, you know, that's a big position, whether positive or negative, the one I have, positive, or well, the one the leaders has, positive or negative, put it, uh, if they want, if Dr. Washington Osifo needs to face the party and the leaders, separate it from Billy. <laughs> Face them. Because I know that some of the things they've done is bad. So they cannot, so nobody suffer their father's crime. Yeah. If the party has done wrong, which I'm saying here that the party has done wrong, because they know that they have done wrong, and I keep telling them, let him want them in their sleep, that what they do is bad. Don't use that to offset and destroy what everybody has worked so hard for. Mm -hmm. If Dr. Billy Osawari was doing that to you, Washington, I would come here and also tell him that what he's doing is bad. So that I will appreciate, and I hope that uh, going forward we can have a common ground to, to work and help the party succeed. In Thank you so very much, and that will be all on our edition of uh, of the John Mayaki Show today. We sincerely appreciate you once more. Thank you, and bye for now.